Hello YouTube land, my name is Castle Caden and we are playing Divine RPG. Last time you saw me get a phaser, and that was so awesome, it really really was. Um, how many uses does this have left? It's about 3,000. Not the best, but whatever, it's a nice ranged weapon with a decent, you know, damage point. And I can always, always, always just repair it. Yay, enchant or enchantment? Enchanted plus. Enchanted plus. Although we are going to be uh, experiencing this next world temporarily really, really quickly, I do intend on doing something a little different today. Well, maybe a little different, but not completely and utterly different. Anyways, huzzah! Ooh, red. This better not be super laggy. Is it going to be super laggy? I better actually put my uh, mysterious clock away, just in case, you know, if I lose it. Or twilight. I keep calling it a mysterious clock. Arg! Twilight clock. Twilight clock. Um, the red kind of makes this look a little menacing, especially with the slate kind of gray and darkish particles. Why not? Let's go in. Downloading terrain! Ha 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 ha! Oh, so I double-checked on a separate instance or map or whatever apparently the nano saber does an average of, i think 12 ish damage in hearts while my current stuff does anywhere between 20 to 60 so the nano saber is not that great anymore sorry for those that have been asking anyways in the comments to, for me to try out a nano saber and blah 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 well i did try it out it failed miserably compared to this yeah, then again, maybe if I add sharpness, but no, not even, because then that would only increase it by, I think, maybe eight or so damage points. And I mean, then it would be on par with the minimum of the Uvite Blade, but not anywhere closer. Holy crap, this is taking a while. I just noticed. Not that I'm necessarily complaining, but holy crap. Come on, download terrain faster. Not on, well, I mean downloading. I'm not on that slow of an internet. Oh! Ha ha ha. Okay, so this is a policy change apparently to one of my internet stuff. But apparently, apparently, my bandwidth... Okay, so I have a cap on bandwidth, right? However, they recently did this so that I no longer have to count my uploading towards my monthly cap. That is amazing! Because what that will allow me to do is basically um, upload more. Yay! I don't know. I just find that amazing because I didn't know that was a thing until I read into it. And apparently my internet service provider is awesome here, down, or here up in Canada. Wow, here down in Canada. We have neighbors to the north from here? Anyway. That's my story. That's my mini story. I hope you guys enjoyed. It just means that I don't have to worry anymore about uploading or not uploading. Alright, um, we're back. Kind of, sort of. Um, basically I waited about four minutes and, um, the game crashed. So I kind of loaded it up and I made it, I think, except for one small detail. I don't know where my portal went. So that's a thing. Um, I'm here, though. It's just... How do I get back? Was that due to the game crash, maybe? I honestly don't know, and I honestly do not know where my portal went at all. So, I guess we can explore a bit, but I don't know what to say. Um, yeah, I honestly don't know what to say at all. I guess we could probably have fun with one of the monsters, but... 
Come this way, weird little thing. Basilisk. But, uh, yeah, as of right now, I don't know how to get back. At all. Which is kind of counterproductive, seeing as I need this place for the next little shardy type of stuff. What's this? Just an augite soul. Gotcha. Um, so, I still don't know how to get back. Wow, I thought that was some kind of a weird edge. Like, chunks aren't even loading very properly right now. Maybe the portal is stuck on the top, and it was crashing me for that very reason. I'm not 100% sure. At this point, I'm kind of just speculating. Ooh, a tree! Those leaves look weird. Oh, and that's going to take a while to try to dig up and see what the hell is going on. Um, the heck are those things? Oh, those are just the archers. But, uh, yeah, so... Oh, Basilisk, I didn't even see you. You're hiding. Don't hide. Let me kill you. Let me kill you. But, um... Yeah, so sorry if I sound a little weird at the moment. I'm basically letting my brain muscles kind of try to figure out what the heck's going on. After this episode, I might try it on a different map, like a brand new map in creative mode, just to see if it will do anything. Um, right, while I'm here... Home? That sounds about right. Um, yeah. Actually, you know what? I will not attack anything else. I want to go into creative mode. I want to see if there's a portal up here somewhere. Nope. No portal. Is there one above the sky limit? Nope. No portal. Oopsies, that's bedrock anyway. Um, oh no. Okay, hold on. I didn't mean to dig above bedrock. I apologize. Bedrock. Bedrock. I'm gonna throw the bedrock away and destroy it. Um, so I basically have no way back at this point, and I don't like that idea. Although I could probably take a look at what these monsters are. Oh, it's those weird sounding. Anyway, I'm not going to comment on that right now. Um, so, yeah, that's my story. I just... I don't know what's going on. I mean, I don't think it would be that big of a deal, because I could probably just... Ooh, Augite Cadillion. Nice. I could probably just uh, slash home, which I probably will have to end up doing, except for the fact that if I can't get back here... Because, I mean, the game crashed a few decent times. What the... Oh, it's one of those things. Demon of Darkness. Um, but, yeah, if I can't get back here, then that's going to pose an issue. I guess what I could do is create a nether portal, which would connect to the nether, which I can then just go back and head home. No, that's kind of probably risking it even more, because then that might screw up my nether. Okay, well, I'm in creative mode, so what's the worst that can happen if I do home? Nothing! Oh! What about spawn? Oh, really? Ha, ha, ha. I'm screwed. Whoa! No! 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 I'm stuck. I'm screwed. What? 285. Okay, hold on. I could do this. Oh. Oh. Whoa. Okay, so apparently that teleported me to my home on my... The coordinates of my home home, but... In here. Um... So, so far, I'm kind of peeved off. 
not quite pissed off yet because I haven't figured out what the heck's going on. I'm sure once uh, this all sinks in, it'll be fine. I mean, technically this isn't my fault. This is Divine RPG screwing things up. So, yeah, that's my story. I don't know what the heck is going on. Um, again, there's no portal here. And this is where I got teleported to. So, yeah, I might have to kill myself somehow. Which is sad because I have the quantum armor. However, if I do have to kill myself based off of a glitch... I may have to give that armor back to myself. Or do something even more drastic if... Actually, you know what? I'm going to do it. Kill. I know it's sad. Ooh, I actually had a nice score, too. I know it's sad, but I had to do it. I'm still in creative mode. What I'm going to do is... I'm going to go through that portal again. I mean, I had a lot of stuff. And if my game broke right now for whatever reason... Okay, so here's the portal. Oh, it's actually not that... F no, where did I die? Okay, hold on. I found it. I found it. I found it. It created one finally. That was not there before. Okay, so it officially created the portal. I need to head back to my stuff. Whew. I no longer have to, you know, destroy anything or recreate or create a new map, I should say. Give me my... Um, excuse me? What the heck is going on? My experience... Like, part of my experience points are here, but where's my stuff? This is so nerve-wracking. So very nerve-wracking. It's not even funny. Nothing took my stuff, and if they did, they have a full set of quantum armor right now, and that's terrifying. Nope, the scuttlers have not gotten anything. And that's that. Nothing over here. Okay, so I'm going to head back through the portal, and I'm going to give me my stuff back, basically. Basically. Um, this crashes my game, I'm going to cry. Because my biggest drastic thing that I would have done was create a new... Ma what the shit. Just simple, what the shit. That happens when there's another connection on that dimension. That is so weird. And I lost all my stuff. Oh my god, I'm going to have to give all my stuff back to myself. That is horrible. Stupid glitches, stupid. So I'm sorry if this episode was completely a waste. I mean, hey, this was definitely something different from what I normally do, but I was hoping to plant stuff. <sighs> okay, actually, you know what? I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to... Yeah, no. Get over here. I am going to use this... Mis er, wow, mysterious clock. No, I'm going to use the twilight clock one more time. Come on, teleport me. If this freezes me, then I'm going to rage quit for now. Don't rage quit, don't rage quit, don't rage quit. Okay, so this is in fact the portal. What if happens if I go back through? Because I might just have to skip this realm or something if this continues. And I know that's a pain in the ass, seeing as I know you guys wanted me to experience this in all of its glory. Please don't be outside, please- No! It's outside. That's in a different location this time. Too. Oh, it's a slightly different location. Man, that's a pain in the butt. Pain in the butt. Anyways, this was frustrating beyond belief. So, yeah, that's me.
Kestel Caden. Playing Divine RPG. Kind of mad. Kind of mad indeed. So, yeah, leave in the comments down below on what should I should do. Because, yeah, I'm mad. I'm mad! Okay, I'm sorry, I'll fix that in a minute. I'm sorry. Anyways, yes, leave a comment down below, subscribe to my channel, leave a like on the video, and all of that jazz. I cannot believe this has been so frustrating. Divine RPG is still glitchy. Anyways, until next time, have fun.